so it's Monday today and I thought I would do a week in the life of me running my blog. I'm gonna give you an inside look of how I kind of run my life. I've been focusing on really monetizing my business in different ways. One of which has been creating a physical planner which has been a whole whirlwind. Another thing is that I've been working on like client stuff, so logo and web design, while at the same time slowly unfolding the Bold Creator Academy course. So there's a lot of work going on. And look, here I am trying to make a video out of my work and so that's another thing that I'm doing. So right now, first thing I do every morning is to check my finances and see where my money is at, where it's going, so that I have a better idea of how much money I have in my account. Because I'm paying everything basically through card, it's hard to know how much money I actually have if I'm not physically holding cash. That way I know where the money's going, and then I also get to celebrate the money coming in and play like my favorite money song by Lisa. So I did a little bit of brainstorming in my notebook here. I was looking at all the places that I'm posting on to drive traffic to my website. The three things I'm officially getting rid of is the Facebook page, Pinterest, and my Bold Blogger Mastermind group. So I'm really just focusing on Google, YouTube, and my newsletters. I'm keeping it very simple. And that's it for showering. I'm just gonna brush my teeth. I wash my face. So as someone who works from home, it's really important for me to not feel like I'm relaxing at home and that I set boundaries on what is my work life and what is my home life. Really for me, it's like changing my clothes so I know I'm getting into work. Sometimes I'll put on makeup and do my hair if I feel like it or if I'm gonna film a video, but today I'm just showing you real life. I'm just gonna be bare faced with my hair in a bun. <laughs> Today I'm just cooking some veggies and ground turkey. Time for vitamins! This is my vitamin pack for the week and if you look closer, they're all gummies. All right, so remember when I felt like crying because my planner from the UK wasn't coming and then I just had to wait for customs and everything? It arrived in the mail! It's gonna do an unboxing! Yay! <laughs> I've never made a physical product and this is the first time in the planner. This is only a sample, but so far it looks really cute. Yee. So this is how the planner looks like. This is the front, that's the back, have my logo. So that's the front page, have the glow up recipe, but a glow getter is a glow up contract, so it's like a contract to yourself. An infographic here to go into the next section, which is the vision and goals. Here's the ultimate vision. I know this is getting cut here. Five year vision, this year's vision. Goals by area of life, goals by the month, New Year's resolutions, yearly plan. This year I will, this year's bucket list, year at a glance. Pretty happy with how it looks. At least I know everything looks good. I'm just gonna go ahead, make some notes on this planner and get it ready. Today I need to work on my client's website. And that's another way I monitor monetizing my business through web design and logo design. So making products is a great way to build some passive income. I see passive because it's not totally passive. You're still having to put a lot of work. It's just not as much afterwards. For me, at least in my experience, it takes a while to get consistent sales with a product. As for services, I'm 
able to charge more and charge by the hour or by the value or just by like the project itself. And these services can sustain me well and creating these products. I'm basically putting my eggs in different baskets. I may not be making as much money as I want to in my business, but where I am right now is good. Hopefully in the future, things will be much better. I think I'll call it quits for Monday in terms of vlogging. I'm gonna go ahead and edit my client's website for the rest of the day and then I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! So last night, I posted a sneak peek of the planner and I've gotten pretty good feedback. So it makes me even more motivated to start working on this project. I am looking for people in China to have a long-term relationship with. It does cost less if I print more with them. So it costs more up front, but over time, it's going to cost a lot less for each planner printed. Hopefully as this business grows, I have more capital to start with and then I can go ahead and start working with vendors who can print at a larger volume for a lower price per planner. I'm learning a lot about creating physical products. This wasn't anything I expected for myself to do, especially when I created this vlog. So this is a stamp I had ordered from Etsy and this is what I'll be stamping inside the box. This is the first time I'm seeing it and it looks great. <laughs> I like the smell of wood. <laughs> this is how the stamp looks like. Hey blank, you're a gem. This one's for you. On the underscore, I get to write the person's name so it feels a lot more personalized. So for example, it could say, Hey bro, you're a gem. This one's for you. So I have my blue light, anti-blue light glasses. These are just from Amazon. And if you are curious, I do use WordPress and Elementor to build websites. That's what I use for my website and it's what I'm using for my client's website. And I got a question recently from someone who was asking like how much should they charge? I would say just start from like how many hours it's gonna take to do the project and multiply that by how much you'd like to get paid per hour. Start from there. See if that's a good number that feels good to you. What you wanna do is end up with a number that makes you feel uncomfortable. I had clients who I didn't work with because they thought I was too expensive, but I had clients who thought I wasn't expensive. And I'm glad I had those clients because they really understood the value of the work that I was doing for them. So those are the people that you want to attract. So I'm gonna be doing some web design and yeah. <laughs> All right, it's pretty dark out now, even though it's only 4 p.m. I'm gonna now reply to my emails. And when it comes to emails, I only go through my email once and reply to everything and then not check back on my email for the rest of the day. Otherwise, it's gonna be a distraction. So I only check my email once a day. That helps me save a lot of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna go meal prep. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be working in a little bit of overtime. Every day is overtime <laughs> to work on the planner and make adjustments to make sure that each page is within the margin. And that's pretty much most of the pages, so I have to go through every page. So this part's gonna be tedious work. I took a class in graphic design, so I learned how to create a book with Adobe InDesign. I've been wanting to play with this thing. I think it'll make working a lot more fun. <laughs> So it's Wednesday today and nothing much is different except that I do have a video interview later about my experience in the past with my abusive relationship. If you're interested in that, I have the video up here. I share my experience on abuse, depression, anxiety, and how I recovered from that. Today is pretty much the same activities as the last two days. It'll be busy again since I'm working on two projects at the same time. And that makes me really happy because I'm doing things that really light me up. I'm glad I get to get paid for it. About to do the interview. Hi, how are you doing, Mike? Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> So I just finished my interview. It was really great. It's pretty much a highlight of my day today. So I got approached by email by Michael who wanted to write a book on emotional intelligence. And he saw my video where I was talking about my journey with abuse. This is the first time I've ever been interviewed for someone's book. I think it's great, especially for personal development. It's something I'm really passionate about. So that finishes up Wednesday. I'm just gonna do more work on my planner, finish the stuff I didn't do yesterday and complete it today. So usually I'm the person 
who cooks in the house, not only because I'm better at it <laughs> compared to my husband. I actually love cooking, but today I don't have the time. So I asked him to take care of dinner and he's bringing home pizza. So I will leave you guys and see you guys tomorrow. Hey, so today is Thursday. Pretty much same things as I'll be sending a newsletter today to promote the sale that I have that's going on. Um, just to remind people, sales here, take advantage of it. So I'm slowly coming more into terms that I'm gonna be finishing late with this project. Nothing is perfect and good enough is good enough and I'm good enough. My work is good enough and everything is good enough. So I'm just gonna be happy with that. And I'm glad I'm just able to let that go because if it was me last year or two years ago, it would have been so hard just to give that up and I would have been so stressed. I've got nothing to be stressed about. I'm living a great life. I get to do what I do for a living and I have a husband who supports me. I'm living in Germany. Like what is there to complain about? Sometimes it just takes a little bit of perspective. So I like to just remind myself that everything's going well and I don't have to make myself stressed over tiny, tiny things. Ooh. My guys so good! I'm so tired. Oh, I didn't know I have my coffee. Do my daily morning routine and then work out. And that affirmation just came up. I was watching a video on YouTube and I need a money affirmation. I love my little wall of pineapple sticky notes. These are all the notes I have. Here's an affirmation that I really like reading. My core values, brand colors over here just so that I have all the hex codes. This one I love. I made this at the beginning of this year and it says 2021 is gonna be doing whatever the fuck I want because it works for me and it leaves me fully self-expressed and free from concerns and fear. And I love reading declarations that I've made because like later on, maybe at the end of the year, I'll look back at it and be like, this is what I actually did. And it's very interesting because once you declare something to yourself, you are more likely to pursue it because it is very powerful and it's a very empowering moment to yourself. And what's more powerful than making like a promise to yourself? Welcome to our home gym. Me and Vivek love to live and because of COVID, we got this equipment. We have not been motivated to work out, but we are trying our best. So I'm gonna be adding a few more pages into my planner but I just wanted to show you that I use Adobe InDesign to create my planner but I really love the interface of Adobe InDesign because I feel like I have no creative limits and that's something that's very important for me. Alright, so, so far, this is how the planner looks like for the yearly review. I just finished it and I think I'm done with the planner. All that's left to do is turn this into a digital planner. Hi everyone! So I actually had a few things arrive in the mail in terms of like packaging and prepping my glow getter planner for shipping. I'm just gonna show you a little haul of what came in from Amazon. This is called the thermal label printer. So this one is actually meant to print shipping labels, but I also got it to print stickers. This thermal printer does not use ink, it uses heat. That really saves me a lot of money and it's so cute, it's pink. These guys, you've already seen the thank you cards. You've also seen the stamp. Together with the stamp, I got matching stamp pad for it. Tissue paper, got a whole stack of shipping boxes. I got what you call like an oyster shell shipping box. I get to spend less on tape. So I wanted to make sure the packaging was eco-friendly and that I don't have plastic and that everything is paper. It's something that I appreciate when other businesses do. So of course I'd want to do that for my business as well. Because things are a little bit eco-friendly, it does cost a bit more. I do have thank you cards, but I make sure this can be reused as something you want to put on your wall. And then if there's any other special messages, I'll use a stamp. So I actually originally planned to only print 25 pieces of planners, but I might be going for 300. The idea before really scared me, especially when I saw the price of how much it costed. I've never 
never spent that much and I'm really getting confronted on spending this much money. I know it's something I want to do because it lights me up when I think about it and seeing everything in front of me, being able to hold hopefully other people holding my creation in their hands and really experiencing the joy that I put into it when I made them. So that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe if you like this and I'll do another vlog. Thank you guys!